This is a DOC question from Pushdown Automatas. We have been given a PDA defined using the standard definition and the transition in this PDA has been defined at this way. If P and Q are the two states, then a transition defined in this way. It states that if we currently saw the symbol A and the top of the stack right now is X, then on reading this particular symbol A, the top of the stack will change from x to y that is how these transitions are defined in the usual notation we use the symbol such as on reading a if the top of the stack is empty use this way on reading a if the top of the stack is currently empty then it would be changed to a that is the usual notation we use here they have used a slightly different notation which states that on reading the symbol a if the top of the stack is currently x then it would be modified to y now in this pda p and q belong to the states and all the standard definitions have been given. There is no alteration with that. The stack alphabets have been given as A and B. And this hash is also accepted. In, inside the stack alphabet, they have included the hash symbol and the capital A symbol, which means on reading the input variables, small a and small b, the stack variables we will be using are this hash and the capital A. Now let us have a look at this PDA, what it is trying to do which language is it accepting and then we have to determine what is the number of 100 length strings that this pda will be accepting so first of all looking at this pda this is the start state q0 and what is it doing if it was initially empty then it is putting this hash symbol onto the stack now what does this imply we know that there are two different ways in which PDA accepts a language. The first way is acceptance by empty stack. And the second one is acceptance by final state. Now here we saw that this stack has not been left empty. While it was initially empty, they have pushed this hash symbol onto the stack. So this eliminates our possibility of acceptance using empty stack. Now we will only need to accept the language using final state because after pushing this hash symbol, it will not be popped out at a later stage. So after this, the stack will not be empty anymore. So we'll only have to go with acceptance with a final state. And let us see what language is it trying to accept. Then going into the state Q1, the stack is no more empty. It is containing the hash symbol on the top. If at all, uh, it happens so. Now in this state, there are two different transitions possible. If it reads a symbol A and if it reads an epsilon, which means empty. Now if it is reading this alphabet A, then it will stay in the same state and loop on itself and it will push this capital A onto the stack, which means it will accept all the small a's. Let us say a string of this form. It will accept, it will stay in the same state, and what will be pushed into the stack, this a symbol will be pushed. And now, if there are no more a's, and we directly see this empty epsilon symbol coming to the picture, then it will do nothing. The top of the stack will remain the same, now here, why are they using the epsilon symbol and not the hash symbol? Because it is just to ensure that there is no acceptance using an empty stack. It does not have any other actual significance. We'll simply be dealing with this epsilon to denote that the stack is empty except this A character. So there is if anything apart from this. They are simply denoting it using the epsilon symbol. So from the state Q1, if we don't see any A's, if we directly see this empty symbol epsilon symbol then we'll go into the state q2 otherwise the second possibility is that after accepting all of these a's whatever the number of a's were there then after accepting them all then we are proceeding further after accepting this then we are proceeding to the next set of symbols so in both of these two cases we'll be moving to this state q2 and now what are we doing in this state here, if we read a symbol small b, then what are they doing? They are popping out this capital A, which means they are essentially popping out this A's against these B's. So if we see any number of small B's, then the same number of A's will be popped out. So it is something like this. For B's, equal number of A's will be popped out in this state Q2. 
and after that what happens then we go to this transition and here what we are doing is on reading this epsilon what is happening if there is any capital a left out then that will be remain that will remain the same and will go to this final state which is the accepting state which means if after all the b's have completed if any a is still left into this stack the hash is there at the bottom and if any a is left out then only we will be moving to this final state otherwise we won't so that simply means this is not the language we are accepting equal number of a's and b's because if this happens then there will be no more a left onto the stack all the a's will be over but a should be left then only we will be able to accept that language so this implies that the language we are basically accepting is something of the form a raised to n b raised to m where n is greater than m which means there have to be more a's than b's then only an a will be left out onto the stack and then we will go to the final state now how many is have to be left out just a single a or any number of a's will be allowed any number of a's will be allowed because we are simply checking if there is any a left out we are not checking how many are actually left out there is no loop in this state so if at least one a is still left onto the stack then we are simply moving to the final state q3 so this is the language they are accepting that there have to be more a's than b's and we are not concerned with how many more so now this is the language being accepted by this pda and now let us try to answer the question which was asked that how many strings of length 100 will be accepted by it so now we know what is the language it, it is accepting a raised to m b raised to m where n is greater than m but now the condition is the length has to be 100 so that puts another constraint in place which is m plus n has to be 100 so now using both of these constraint let us see what are the strings this pda can accept the first condition we can have is n is 100 and b is or m is 0 so this is possible then a 99 b 1 this is possible now, is this string really possible let us check out from state q0 we are always going into the state q1 then in the state q1 if there are no a's then this transition will be skipped and will directly move into the state q2 using this empty transition and here again if there is no b coming then we'll simply skip this and go to the state q3 now here the main thing is being performed we are checking if there are any a's onto the stack if yes then accept so this simply states that if there are zero b's then also it is fine so in the same way a 98 b2 so on until we can have a 51 b 49 then after this a 50 b 50 will not be allowed because n has to be greater than n so these are all the possible strings that can be accepted by this pdm so how many such strings we got from 51 till 100 so that becomes 50 so there are 50 strings of length 100 that can be accepted by the given pdm so the answer for this question will be 50